Iran is often a divisive figure in international politics, and now it's further dividing the U.S. and Israel. Specifically, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who have been doing some verbal sparring. It started when Netanyahu reportedly told supporters it looked like world leaders had given up on preventing Iran from getting nuclear weapons. Then on Wednesday, Kerry responded before the House Foreign Affairs Committee. He may have a judgment that just may not be correct here. And, you know, let's wait and hear what he says. That last part refers to an upcoming speech the Prime Minister will give before both chambers of Congress on the invitation of House Speaker John Boehner. Thank you, President Obama, for your steadfast commitment to Israel's security. Netanyahu has spoken to Congress before, in 2011, when he argued Israel should not return to its pre-1967 borders, another point of disagreement between him and the president. But this time, the Obama administration has openly positioned itself against the speech, at least in part because the invitation came from Boehner, and the administration didn't learn about it until after the fact. On both sides, there has now been injected a degree of partisanship, which is not only unfortunate, I think it's... Uh, it, it's destructive of the fabric of the relationship. Netanyahu has opposed the U.S.'s recent negotiations with Iran, something he has in common with congressional Republicans who don't believe Iran will stay true to a disarmament deal. I think we should go ahead and have the uh, speech because the issue is very timely in this country. President Obama has already said he won't be meeting with Netanyahu during the prime minister's visit because the speech on March 3rd is only two weeks before Israeli elections and he wants to remain impartial. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.